for the push press, we're still gonna be pushing that barbell overhead, but this time we're gonna use the add benefit of our hips and our legs to produce a lot of that force. And rather than our arms doing most of the work, they're simply gonna guide that barbell. Yes, they're gonna do some of the work, but most of that power is gonna come from the hips and the legs. Our job is to guide that barbell to a good, safe overhead position. And when it's finally locked out, we're gonna to wanna to have those arms in line with the ears. We don't wanna have them behind or out in front. And we don't wanna have the elbows partially bent. We wanna have them all the way locked out, everything lined up. So, first thing we wanna do is we wanna get that barbell set up at a good height in the rack. About armpit height is what I recommend. If you prefer to do it lower or higher, go for it. This just allows me the most control uh, getting up and underneath that bar, getting into good position. When it comes to the push press or something like the jerk, it's a really good idea to take your time while the bar is in the rack. When you step away from that rack and that bar is up on your shoulders now, it is very difficult to adjust your position. It can really hammer the wrists and the elbows if you don't pay attention to it and take your time while in the rack. First thing we're gonna do is set up into the front rack position. If you haven't already or you need more in depth uh, view of what this looks like, check out our video on the front rack position setup. For me, for the front rack position, when I say front rack, that's where the barbell is sitting right on top of our shoulders or right behind that ridge created by our shoulder muscles. I'm gonna have my hands are gonna be about a quarter to a half inch into the knurling on both sides. That's gonna give me enough room to clear my shoulders. I'm gonna have this bar pulled to the front of the J-hook so it doesn't roll on me as I get underneath it. I'm gonna wrap my thumb and fingers around securely. Make sure my wrists are straight, my feet are shoulder width directly underneath that bar. Next thing I'm gonna do is pull my shoulder blades back to get my shoulders into a good position. As I keep my shoulder blades back, I'm gonna drop my hips and I'm gonna row myself into the bar, rotating those elbows forward and getting that barbell set up right behind my shoulders, right in front of my neck. From here, I'm gonna take in a belly breath and unrack that barbell with my knees and hips. I'm gonna take two steps back. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you what this looks like at an angle and also from the front. My feet are gonna be about hip width apart. My toes are straight ahead, heels are down. My elbows are still racked forward with my upper arms about parallel with the ground. And that barbell is secure over my shoulders. For the push press, the first thing we're gonna to do to initiate movement is we're gonna take a slight bend at the knees and hips. This is not a squat. We're not going super low. This is just a slight bend at the knees and hips. Make sure the barbell moves with you. Make sure the barbell doesn't move at, a dis, at uh, just slightly slower than the rest of your body. This will make more sense as I do it. I'm gonna take in my belly breath. I'm gonna initiate movement by bending slightly at the knees and hips. Then I'm gonna powerfully extend the knees and hips, driving that barbell overhead. I'm gonna use the rest of the momentum from my knees and hips to guide the barbell overhead with my arms, locking them out to the line with my ears. Then I'm gonna return it back to the front rack position and repeat. Once complete, I'm gonna to return to the rack, two steps forward, run into the J hooks, set it down on the rack securely and come out from underneath it. Now the point I was gonna make on this, if one, you're not set up in a good front rack position or it's too much weight or you're trying to anticipate the movement, what can happen is your body will sink down quicker and come up quicker than the barbell is. In other words, let's say I have some weight on my hands and they're coming down with me. Right now they're moving with my body. In this second example, they're not. My hips are gonna come down, then the weight's gonna come down, then my hips are gonna come up, then the, my, my hands are gonna come up following it. So you see this kind of a, the bar is falling behind the rest of your body. Instead, you wanna make sure that barbell is part of your body and it moves with you. Boom, so there's no lost movement. Because what you'll find out if that barbell is, or that weight is trailing behind the rest of your body, you're actually going to be, it's actually gonna be working against you as the barbell is coming down as you're trying to go up. So it's, it's coming with gravity and you're trying to fight it and it's creating more force that you have to overcome to go up. So make sure you keep that barbell close and don't go too crazy with the knee bend. There's no reason to like come into like a half squat before you come up or anything crazy like that. We wanna make sure 
that we're getting just enough to develop that power from the knees and hips, extend them powerfully as it drives overhead. Real quick, do a couple more reps. Hands same distance, shoulder width, pull the shoulders back, hips down, row it into myself, elbows forward, two steps back, slight bend the knees and hips, belly breath. Back into the rack and release. That's how you do a barbell push press.